Hello, a little bit of a showbiz news flash. We've just come in and um, this made me chuckle. In fact, it's very rare that I contact Nadia about a showbiz story. Rebecca versus Vardy. Is that it? You've just said Rebecca versus Vardy. Oh, Vardy versus Colleen. Why don't we try to stay consistent and do both surnames? Barney versus Rooney. We got there in the end. Anyway, I was driving around today, merrily minding my own business, going to work. And then on the radio, LBC, James O'Brien was saying, my God, this story's broken. We never, we rarely ever cover this sort of story. And it was an entertainment story. And it's the Colleen Rooney story that she's essentially, and this is what I find really amusing about the turned story. Turned Miss Marple. She's turned Miss Marple. She might have to tell us where Lord Lucan is. Inspector Clouseau. She might know who killed Roger Rabbit. She might be able to resolve Brexit. <laughs> it seems that our Colleen is a rather remarkable sleuth. I mean, some smart-ass comments, uh, commentators have said, is that why Wayne Rooney keeps getting caught? Yeah. Mm, probably is. But, um, but here's the thing. She's kind of inadvertently, not only potentially and allegedly entrapped a friend and colleague with uh, what she's done, but she's also kind of honey-trapped the newspapers. Well, you know what? Which Let's just go fun. back to where we were, because this is a bit like when, where you were when John Lennon where we got were shot. when we heard the news. So right? th this is what the Vardy route. You think this is going to be Vardy? This is going to roll, isn't this it? This is going to roll. So I, where was I? Ah, oh, I was waiting Out to have of your a facial, mind? and my friend Lee texted me it. He goes, read this, you won't believe it. So I'm reading it and I'm thinking, what it's is this? Ah! I'm reading it and I'm thinking, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's quite an elaborate story when you start to it's read it. It's an elaborate mm. story. You have so to give it basically, time. Colleen had said that she felt, well, over the months and years, her life had been really, had impact, been impacted very badly by stories being continuously leaked to the press. Yeah. So... She had set up a private Instagram account. So clever, this. Yeah. Got lots of followers. And then as she suspected people and then cleared them, she cleared their name, she would block, block them, them until she was left with only one person. She then fed a fake story, various fake stories, final one being yesterday, that their house had been flooded. You're telling me it's Colonel Mustard in the library? Maybe. Anyway... So you're reading this, and I'm reading this, and then it says, and I have now discovered who this person is, dot, 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 it's Rebecca Vardy. What? Now, surely to name the person, you've got to be pretty robust in knowing... Well, I mean, there's no way. Rebecca, ha you know, Rebecca is pregnant. Imagine how awful this is for her. She's in If Dubai. she didn't do it. Mm. She's actually contacted her lawyers now saying that her account had been hacked and it wasn't her. Right. So that will all get to reveal. But just uh. it's just the magnitude of this for a showbiz uh. story. This is magnificently magnitude -y. And because... That means it's mag magnitude. Mag and I'll tell you why. Why? Because this has come back on the very, the way that it's come back through social media. Now, mm. we never hear anything from Colleen Rooney. She's very, very private. Yeah, she doesn't step forward to engage with this. She never says does anything. She? She's always on the retreat, I, she hasn't, my sense. She hasn't done this on a, on a news. She hasn't done no. this on a TV show. She hasn't done this on the paper. She's just done this on a camera. And somehow with that, it's incredibly powerful that she's done it. There is and something I actually got a shudder. Mm. Now, many people, we did a poll on our, on our Instagram, Instagram today. 80% yeah. Yeah. were with Colleen doing it. 20% said she probably shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Just a word. When I was in EastEnders years ago, there were stories constantly... Get out of my pub! Sorry. Constantly in the papers about all the cast, right? Really private things... Mm that none of us really knew where they were coming from. And we went through, you would, you would go crazy. I'd imagine it was a very paranoid time. It was an awful time mm. and you would be mm. suspecting your family and your friends because you think, God, I only told this person. Now, you might think, oh God, these are just people. Oh, they've got money, they've got celebrity. What the hell? Just get over it. That's, what James, actually, that's what James O'Brien was saying on his oh, really? radio programme. But thinking, actually, yeah. it does eat away. And yeah. I do, I, my heart does go out to um, Colleen Rooney, because she has to, she's had a lot written about her in mm. the press, quite a lot about her husband, and that's a whole other thing. I was say, she must feel quite she's alone given what she's gone through. She's got the patience of a saint, mm. and I actually, yeah, I actually, you know, like her. 
I think, from watching them. Now, Rebecca, I've met Rebecca many times and I, and I really liked her. I really like her. She was a perfectly lovely girl. Mm. And we have yet to see what the truth of this is. So I am not casting any stones until things are proven, basically. Well, let me get that bag of rocks out of the kitchen then. I'm not casting um, any stones. I'm not casting any stones. But, but, is, I just, is but there I'm just fascinated by, by the public, but also by... Colleen Rooney is one bright bird. Well, I know. I mean, she's as sharp as hell, and you really want her investigating on, on your side, batting for you, really, yes. don't you? You want her interrogating Maybe she things. could work out the Bermuda Triangle for yeah, us. Where yeah. did all those people go, Colleen? Yeah, did, where, where, did, where, did, where, did, where did all sorts of things disappear to? If there's anyone that you need to get on the case, and clearly Colleen Rooney's the person. But here's the thing. We were talking, actually, about this the other night, and I was trying in a very garbled way in one of our showbiz newses things... I was talking about the way in which I think the worm is slightly turning insofar as if, as a celebrity, you, the keys to taking control of a press story mm. are, are falling back towards yeah. sometimes celebrities because... Yeah. But, unless, what I'm about to suggest could be the case. Do we think that whilst we have the phone hacking scandal that's still rumbling on, Harry, etc., etc., could we be looking at a period of social media hacking? I'm pretty sure there's the possibility to do it. I'm sure that if the papers could, they would. Wow. You know, and I'm sure... I would that... just say be very, very careful with DMs and uh, yeah. everything. Because, you the know, we, do, we just don't know how this story could take off. This could go in a completely different direction. We I could find out the next move. that Rebecca has been... It is totally sensational. And yeah. I think it will rumble on this story. And I love that some of the fans are calling her Wagatha. Christie. Wagatha Christie. Wagatha Christie. I love that. And did you see that Netflix, Netflix, Netflix itself, I think it, tweeted saying we need to make a drama documentary, se documentary about series this. about it. The making of an Instagrammer liar. But here's the other but funny thing. All of this, we, we pride ourselves on not being bitchy on no, our no, showbiz no, no. news. These are the things we have to take into account. Colleen has, by whatever means, whoever, somebody has been selling stories on her that are, some are true and some are not true, I presume. And that has caused her a lot of heartache. At this moment, there is nothing proven with mm. Rebecca Vardy and she's a pregnant woman. And I'm sure if she hasn't done this, it must be so upsetting. But that aside, what an amazing story. showbiz story. It's just a great showbiz story. Oh my God, it's sensational that she would just do this. Yeah. On the account. And the dot, dot, dot. Rebecca Vardy's account. It's like something out of... Well, it really is like something out of a Miss Marple. It really is. It's like, a, it's like a slow motion celebrity car crash. I mean, if you go onto Twitter, there's some fantastic gifs knocking about. Yeah. There's like uh, Homer Simpson disappearing backwards into a bush because he's like watching the Rooney... Rooney v Vardy. Hashtag Rooney v Vardy. That's, what, that's what's going on. Um, and I mean, obviously, there's lots of horrible stuff out there too. But uh, it is it's quite even gone over to America, hasn't yeah. it? It's gone but everywhere. here's the other weird thing: is that, of course, the Sun have pulled down the story of their the Rooney's mansion being flooded, which was one of the fake stories. stories. But I think she only told somebody yesterday, didn't she? Mm, absolutely. So basically, the last person that was left on her private account was Rebecca Vardy's account, yeah. and then that story ended up in the papers. So. I can understand why why Colleen just totally believes it's Rebecca yeah, Hardy. Absolutely. But. So anyway, watch this space. It's fascinating. I think. Mm. I think. Yeah. I th I Leave your like thoughts below. I want to know what you're. Whose thinking. side are you on? Who's right? Who's wrong? Will we ever find out? Is there such a Could sort of? Could you have of... thought of doing something like this yourself to try and catch somebody out? I would never have thought of that. I mean, she's a. But you know what I really cookie. like about this? For all those nasty people on social media that do things in all sorts of different ways, mm. I hope there was a little quake in some of them today going, oh my God, we could be find out. Like, you know, like this movement to get people to have to give their address and everything. I think you're right. So I think they good. may have omitted just a tiny little fart of fear. A Why little did you have tiny fart. Well, because what they. What was the point of that? Well, because I think that's how scared they'll be. It'd just be a little. Aww. of fear.